Jesus, it's like Mother's Day at Mia Farrow's in here. Oh, don't look so down. You remind me of an ad for UNICEF. All that's missing are the flies. Hey, smile. You're sponsored. Go ahead. Eat. You, hey, come up here. Explosives check. I need to pat you down. Uh, that, that's not legal. Watch it, Kim Jungle Jim. These hands killed your ancestors in Quezon. I'm not afraid to get nostalgic. Oh, my God. Hey, none of that Baptist shit in here, LaQuisha. Yo, Mio. Speedy Gonzalez, you speak in code again. I'm going to lock you up. Anyone understand what he said? My God. What did I tell you, Aunt Jemima? God is only for Shabbos. Dude! That's a racist! Flattery will get you nowhere. Shit, man. Honky's insane. Well, I prefer my psychiatrist Jewish, Rahib. And ideally, New Yorkers, but I do have a boil I need you to look at. Oh, you have no social boundaries. That's enough, Dr. Ruth. That reminds me, I also prefer my Jew head shrinkers with a schwanz. Well, admittedly, I do admire her, but I am no Dr. Ruth. I can't believe that you're it the- It was a compliment. I fucked her. And where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mortimer Fishbein. You can call me Morty. And this whole place is UBS. All right. Unlike the old days when you had to earn your way into American society, now you get a charity spot and shoot your way right to the top. Yo, man, that ain't no chalkboard. Blackboard. Yeah, blackboard. Why is this blackboard white? Because everything white. Does anyone have any black chalk? Oh, now you want something black. Why don't you try one of those markers? Morty, are you a showrunner? I made a lot of shows run until the Japs Pearl Harbored my career. You were an exec? I made the money decisions. That's ultimately who runs things, Mammy. Now, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about creating your own hit TV show. I have a four-step formula for hitting syndication. It'll get you your front 13 and the back nine. Front 13? What am I, a coal miner? I get a deal with Hulu or Netflix, I'm done at eight. If it's back to nine, I don't care about his front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first. <laughs> Attach an attractive male lead, like uh, Tony Danza or Kirk Cameron. Uh, Kirk Cameron is a mean, insane, homophobic, right-wing asshole. Hey, this group is about inclusion, especially if it includes big money. The Westboro Baptist Church was the main investor in my religious film last year. Hell is for real. Ugh, religious films. Well, my favorite film is religious. Cain and Abel 4. Uh-huh, everybody. Do the who. Brother in love. <laughs> Step two. If you cannot get an attractive male lead, get a talking animal. Like, ironically? Why is everything ironic with you millenniums? Do you even know what that means? No, it's not 10,000 spoons on your wedding day. Like a self-aware joke? Is that talking cat-eating aardvark a self-aware joke? Alf. He's my favorite. Who that? Again? They played an hour-long block every day in Radio Kabul. Step three. Put in something controversial, like a woman wearing pants. Oh, no, we never heard any of those shows in Kabul. No, what? They wore pants on Alf. They must have censored that part. Like Mary Tyler Moore or, uh... Those uh, beer-drinking lesbians. Do broke girls. Uh, what? Isn't that what it's called? It, in Dari, its literal translation is a pair of insolvent, insolent lesbians. No, the lesbians. Uh, Laverne and Shirley. But if you're going to go controversial, remember point four. Make sure that a supporting character is a hot piece of ass like Donna Reed. <laughs> Uh, Laverne and Shirley don't have any caliente pedazos. Whoa, whoa, what? Uh, Laverne and Shirley didn't have any hot pieces. And that's why it didn't last. Mm. What? Uh, can I go to the bathroom? You can do what you like, for Christ's sakes. What do you think we are here? A room full of secretaries? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go too. <laughs> secretaries. I'm sorry, I, I guess the sign confused me. 
Uh, yeah. I know, what is that? Like, half man, half woman? I thought maybe Franken-trans. Or... <laughs> oh, speaking of which, is that the kind of thing you're into? Uh, no. I tend to like him with all the original parts. Why? Oh, it's just that you seemed into Farah, so I figured. Yeah. I mean, if she's Franken-trans, then, uh, one please <laughs> for me. Well, actually, I have some insider info. Langston saw her at an LGBTQ event in the bathroom at the urinal, using it. Oh, isn't female swarthy and oppressed enough for this program? I don't think she did it for the program. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Some of these people. Speaking of which, how did you get in? As far as I can tell, you are none of the above. Yeah, exactly. And doesn't that in this group make me extremely diverse? Yeah, but this group is supposed to be diverse from normal writing groups, which are exactly like you. Yeah. That's the counter-argument. So... Isn't it illegal to ask? Probably. <laughs> okay, look. Uh, if, it's not, if it's not that diversity among diversity thing, then maybe it's that I'm colorblind. I don't know. Honestly, I applied accidentally. Thought I was taking a Facebook quiz to see which Charlie's angel I was. Spoiler alert. I'm the less butch brunette. Hello, Charlie. Shut up. Well, I did get suspicious of one required essays, but then I thought, well, you know, I mean, finally Facebook quizzes goes the extra mile. That can't be true. I was also kind of really drunk. Maybe when a male takes a Charlie's Angels quiz, it automatically links to a diversity program. You know, Elon Musk probably wrote the algorithm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I'm really glad I did. I got this wonderful opportunity. Oh. Yo, <laughs> uh, just warning y'all, this place about to smell like the Panda Express dumpster. So uh, if you two cis breeders are just a uh, family planning or whatevs, might want to evacuate to the hall before I evacuate my colon. Because uh, I got about two chapters brewing and uh, Yin Yang's about to drown her baby in the tub. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was favorite. Okay. And that's how I slept with Jeannie Shrimpton. But how does that relate to, to bringing a diverse voice to mainstream TV while retaining sponsorship and conservative viewers? Sombrero, no matter how impossible something seems, if you try hard enough and long enough and cunningly enough, there's always a chance. Says the white man. Time to check the blood sugar. That's all for today. Where were you? Bathroom. You missed my story how I slept with Ginny Shrimpton. Oh, sorry. Have them tell you all about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, was that it? And is white boy his driver or something? <laughs> yeah, how's he in the program anyway? Maybe he's LGBTQ? Okay, first of all, it's LGBTQ. Okay, get it right if you're gonna use it. We're not a food, we're people. Okay. On the website, I'm pretty sure it specifically says, where it is, for LGBTQ, only if you identify as a female, person of color, or transgender, then yes, feel free to apply. Let me see. Thank you in advance. Oh, wow. Maybe it's because of his defect. Sorry, 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 sorry. Literal translation. Uh, handicap? <laughs> no. It says here, disabilities only qualify if you're already qualified. Shit. Now I feel bad for the white homoplegic. And I do not like that feeling. The white man deserves only my contempt. The white man deserves only my contempt. The white man yo. Maybe he don't know he's a person of no color because he color blind. Ooh, ooh, that's a good premise. Yep. Oh shit. Wait, 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 the wait, the white males, the, the handicapped, the gays, who else can apply? Uh, anyone with a musical professionally produced on Broadway. You already said gays. Can I, can I get my phone, please? Wow. Thank you. Maybe he's trans. Pretty sure Chad's got a dick, and it ain't a new feature. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you got work on that. Looked like you playing Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. Yeah? Oh, shit. I'll make my Whitney Houston Bobby Brown family reenactment troupe. <laughs> what? I play Bobby, bitch. 
Class dismissed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tales and call it a never 